In my last video, we talked about the opportunity with Printify pop-up stores. And you all had some great questions, so we're gonna talk a little bit more about pop-up stores in this video and answer some of those questions that you all had. All right, so just a reminder, this video is not gonna be the complete overview of Printify pop-up, including how to get it set up, how to open your pop-up store. That video was the last one that I published on the YouTube channel. I will link to this in the description and in the corner of this video. So if that's the one you're looking for, you can get over there and go through that full tutorial. In this video, we're gonna focus on the questions that I got on that video, specifically six different questions. And the first one, is going to be basically just a confirmation that with a pop-up store, there is no existing traffic. There's no shopping traffic and you, the seller, are responsible for generating traffic to your pop-up store. And that is absolutely correct. So this is the POD Insights merch store, the sort of sample pop-up store that I created for the tutorial. There's a link to this in the description as well if you wanna just see what it looks like. But this is a standalone website that nobody knows about unless you direct them here. So this works exactly the same as starting your own website, no matter what sales you know platform you're using, whether it's Shopify or Squarespace, whatever service you use to build your site, this is the same thing as running your own store on your own website in terms of generating traffic. And so the free way to do that is by starting your social media accounts for your print on demand business. You wanna generate some following on social media, some interaction, post your designs and then direct people from your social media accounts to your pop-up store. And then of course there are paid ads. This is something that is a whole separate conversation into itself, running paid ads both on social media and potentially on Google itself, right on a search engine. But that would be your other strategy besides the free strategy of just generating traffic on social media, you have the paid strategy of running ads. So to wrap up that first question, there is no built-in traffic with a Printify pop-up store. You have to generate your own. Now, the second question is somewhat related to that first question. So the second question was, basically, if this is free and there's no fees and it's very easy to set up, especially if you already use Printify, why not do this and one of the other sales channels that are available on Printify like Etsy? The answer to that question is you absolutely can do that. You can sell in a Printify pop-up store. You can sell the same designs on Etsy, on Redbubble, on Amazon. You can sell them all over the place if you've got the time, the capacity to be maintaining stores in all of those locations. And I see no reason not to. If you can get a Printify pop-up store where you can send some traffic away from those platforms that charge you fees every time you get an order, the more orders that come through your pop-up store, the better, because you're not paying any fees. Speaking of fees, the third question was, are there really no fees with a Printify pop-up store? Specifically, on that first video I made, somebody saw in the store settings, if we hop over to our store settings, somebody saw on the order settings page, there is a little note down here under order approval. If you read sort of the fine print or the light gray print here, notice what it says under automatic when you set a time. When you choose automatic at a specific time each day, orders are approved at a specific time every day and, and it says single charge per day. So somebody in the comments of my last video pointed out, hey, that sounds a lot like we're getting charged a fee of some kind. What is that all about? Well, basically this page, the way this whole page reads, all of these order settings, this is all exactly the same, no matter which sales channel you look at on Printify. So for example, over here on the left navigation, if I click on the store name, I can change this back to my Etsy POD Insights store because I also have a POD Insights store set up on Etsy, which is what I use to make all my tutorials. And if we go to the order settings tab on the store settings page for my Etsy shop, we're gonna find all exactly the same settings, including this one about order approval, where it says, if I do this automatically at one time per day, I'm gonna get a single charge per day. Now this is applicable here for an Etsy shop because each time I submit an order on Printify, I am gonna pay Printify directly because Printify does not receive any funds from Etsy or any other sales channel. So if we were using Shopify or any of the other sales channels besides a pop-up store, Printify is gonna want money from us when we submit our orders. Now, if you submit all your orders individually, 
on an automatic or a manual basis, you get charged immediately when you submit that order. So every individual order is gonna get charged to the payment method that you have on file. That could be your wallet if you have funds in your wallet, or it could be a credit card or a debit card that you have on file. So with these first three options, every time you get an order that gets submitted to production, your payment gets charged. So if we hop back over to my pop-up store, store settings page in the order settings tab, basically this, this is just copied and pasted. These settings are going to read exactly the same as they do for any other sales channel. However, that does not mean we are paying for these orders out of pocket. These settings don't make any difference in terms of you getting charged because you're not getting charged anything. There is no charge. There's no seller fees. It, there's really, there's no impact here other than the timing of of when your orders get submitted to production. All right, while we're here in the store settings page, let's answer another question. So another question that I received was, can I change the theme of my pop-up store after I select it? You select the theme of your pop-up store right when you first create it. And this is actually a recent update. Now, if you find in the tabs here on your store setup page, the second tab is now customize store. So if you go there, you will find the different themes that Printify has available for you to select and you can change it and click save at the bottom in order to change your theme if you want to. This tab was actually not here at the time that I made my first video, but now you can. So I wanted to point that out. You just come to the store settings page or the tab on your navigation menu here on the left and then click on the customize store tab at the top and then select your theme. Okay, another question that I received was, can we copy over products from our existing other stores if we already have them? So for example, if you already have an Etsy store and you wanna start a pop-up store on the side to direct some traffic and save on those seller fees, do you have to recreate all your products from scratch? Thankfully, the answer is no. However, you're still gonna wanna review them and I will show you why. So let's go over to the POD Insights Etsy store. So as you can see here, I have a lot more products in the POD Insights Etsy store because I've had this one for longer. It's what I use to make all my tutorials. Now there are actually three ways that you can copy your products over to another store. If you wanna copy every single listing that is here, everything that you've got created in your Printify account for this store over to another store, you actually don't do it from the My Products page. You would instead click on the name of your store in this left navigation to get this little pop-up window. Then at the bottom, click on Manage My Stores. Once you get to this list of your stores, look for the store you want to copy the listings from. So for me, that would be this one here, the POD Insights Etsy store. And then to the right, click on the three dot menu and click on where it says Copy Products. You get this little pop-up window which asks you which store do you want to copy the products to. So find the pop-up store that you wanna copy your products to and check that box and then click on Copy Products and it will copy over all of your existing product listings into your pop-up store. Now note at the top, depending on how many listings you have, it can take quite a while. It actually says it can take up to 20 minutes. You also wanna pay attention to what it says above that, which is due to sales channel variations, some details including description, text formatting, and tags might be lost. And that is one reason why you're still gonna to wanna to review your listings after you copy them. Before we talk about that though, let's just look at the other two ways to copy over products. So from your My Products page on the account that you want to copy from, you can select multiple listings this way using these checkboxes. So let's say I wanna copy these two t-shirts over into my uh, pop-up store. So I use the checkboxes there and then back at the top, right next to this publish button, there is a copy to. And when we click on that, we're gonna get the same pop-up window where we can say, I wanna copy those two products over to my POD Insights merch pop-up store. Same process, just doing it from the My Products page, and we can check off multiple listings. And the last way is to do it for an individual listing. If you scroll to an individual product that you wanted to copy over, you go to the three dot menu here and click on copy to. And again, you're gonna get the same pop-up window to select the store you want to copy it over to. So there you go. You can copy all your products at once by going to that manage my stores page. You can copy multiple products by selecting the check boxes and then using the menu at the top to copy them. Or you can select individual products to copy them over. Now I'm gonna copy this t-shirt over so that we can talk about what you want to take a look at after you do copy your listings over. You do get a pop-up window here that says, you know, this can take up to five seconds and then you do get a confirmation saying the product has been copied. I know for a fact you get this when you select individual listings from your My Products page. I'm assuming you get a similar message if you do that, copying it from the Manage My Stores page. It might just take longer 
for doing multiple listings. So now if we come back over to my pop-up store, you can see I've got this unpublished draft of the listing that I copied over. And I should point out, they do all come over as unpublished drafts. You don't have to worry about things getting published immediately when they come over. You will have a chance uh, to publish them individually, or you can also use the checkboxes and then click on publish as well uh, if you wanna just mass publish without making any edits. However, I do recommend looking at the listings before you publish them in your pop-up store for a couple of reasons. So first of all, when it comes to mock-ups, you cannot use your own mock-ups, at least currently, with a Printify pop-up store. So that means you're only gonna be able to use the ones that Printify provides. And that might mean you want to select a different default mock-up to show on your listing. For example, this plain white background t-shirt mock-up, what shows here, this is gonna be the primary thumbnail on my pop-up store. So I'm gonna select a different one here that maybe looks a little bit nicer, and that'll be the one that I actually publish the listing with. Now, the second and third reasons come further down in the listing. So the second reason is because you wanna check your description and see what it looks like. So for example, here, this all kinda got mushed together when it copied over, so I really would wanna go through and make this look a little bit nicer. You also have the opportunity in a pop-up store to add a size table to the description, which I find helpful. You cannot do that with Etsy. And then lastly, you would want to look at your pricing because if you set your pricing here in Printify based on your Etsy store pricing, that would have been factoring in Etsy seller fees into your retail prices. And you're not gonna have those seller fees on Printify. So. This one, I didn't actually set the pricing before I published it. So there, this is a better example. Let's say I had these all set to $22 and $25 for 2X on Etsy. If I left these alone and just charged the same on my pop-up store as I did on Etsy, then my profit would be almost 60% on the smaller sizes, 55% on the 2XL. If I realistically want people to buy on my pop-up store and kind of get some of that traffic away from Etsy, I would personally consider lowering these prices a little bit to incentivize buying buying through my pop-up store instead of on Etsy. And the other thing is, as I pointed out in my tutorial video, Printify is gonna charge this shipping cost, no matter what. You don't have shipping profiles, you don't have the ability to do free shipping on a pop-up store because you have a little bit less control over everything with a pop-up store. So no matter what price I set here, the customer is gonna pay 475 for shipping, which means they're gonna wind up paying a lot for this t-shirt, in fact, more than what I would be charging them on Etsy because on Etsy, I, I have it set to free shipping and a $22 retail cost. So at the very least, I would want my pricing to be equal to what the customer pays on Etsy. So in this case, I would actually subtract the shipping cost from my retail price if I wanted to keep them exactly the same. But just for example, I could lower my retail prices here for small through XL to $16.99 and the customer is gonna pay $16.99 plus $4.75, which is $21.74. So that comes out to just slightly less before tax than what the customer would be paying in my Etsy store because on Etsy, I'm charging $22 plus tax with free shipping. So it's not that much less, but it's just a hair less than what they pay on Etsy. And again, that's because we can't control that Printify is gonna charge them this $4.75 shipping fee separate from the price. All right, and the last question that I wanna answer about the pop-up store is, can we do anything to adjust the mock-ups? And unfortunately, currently at least, the answer is no. So you can select which mock-up you want to be the primary on the listing. And if we click on edit design, you know, you've got the preview view here where you can view them individually. You can change them to be CMYK, a little more realistic. You can also add a background to your mock-ups uh, so that if you wanna use the lay flat ones, but you don't want to have it plain white, you can add your own custom background. I have a whole video about how to do that on Printify, but you cannot currently anyway, you cannot crop these. So if, for example, if I wanted to use this one, but I just wanted to zoom in on the design, I can't do that on Printify pop-up. So you're going to get basically however these mock-ups look, this is how they're going to show up in the thumbnail images in your store. All right, and that'll do it for this video. That was six of your questions about Printify pop-up stores. Let me know if you still have questions about Printify pop-up or if this was helpful, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button so YouTube can show it to more people. And don't forget to subscribe to the POD Insights channel if you haven't. Thank you so much to all subscribers. I really do appreciate your support. Thanks everybody. See you next time.